Hello friends, I am solving a problem from welding. The subject is a design of machine element 2. So before starting a problem, I will brief on the problem related theory. So this is the welding concept. This one is transfer fillet weld. The transfer fillet weld. Uh, these are the two rods, uh, sorry, two plates I have taken. Plate 1, plate 2. So this is welded portion when you look it from the side this is the welded portion and it is top view so this is another plate it is below the top plate so this side is welded that is this is the thickness of the plate one this is the thickness of plate two so thickness of the weld is equal to the thickness of the plate because whatever is needed is to join this place to this place plate to this plate so I have sorry the welding is done only till here so next this is the length of weld that is from here to here the welding is been carried out okay and next is double transverse fillet weld anyhow P is the load applied okay so here in this double transverse fillet weld here and here two sides that is welded that's why it is called double transverse so this term yes here I have taken yes some data handbook has taken it as H okay H that is what and length of the weld or width of the plate width of the plate this one okay so another type is double parallel fillet weld in double parallel fillet weld welding is carried out on the sides of the plate two sides of the plate in transverse weld it is on the front side of the plate and then this one two sides of the plate this double parallel fillet weld is also called as longitudinal weld okay on two sides longitudinal weld on two sides accordingly the equation also changes so here this is combination of transverse weld and double parallel fillet weld this is transverse weld this is double parallel fillet weld so now we will have a look at a problem mm -hmm. determine the length of weld weld run for a plate of size 120 millimeter wide and 15 millimeter thick 120 millimeter wide this is width of the plate or length of weld which I have to carry out see a welded to another plate by means of single transverse weld single transverse weld and double parallel fillet weld double parallel fillet weld or longitudinal weld with the joint is subjected to variable loads variable load sometimes they may give or else sometimes you may need to assume but uh, try to remember this value most of the time they will be using this value or else if they have given use that value uh, in the question paper they may give you this this kind of sketch or else you may have to consider this kind of sketch and they have to start solving the problem so initially data according to the data handbook so h is equal to size of the weld this one is h <coughs> this one this is size of weld here this portion that is the thickness of plate and next is next is width width of the plate that is 120 millimeters so initially we will see the length of single transverse weld so the length of single transverse weld is this one this length is given that is 120 and here there is a matter uh, which uh, commonly we use in welding because when we start welding if this is the plate when we start welding welding is not carried directly on the edge but it is carried a little before the edge okay and ending also we will not stop it at the end but we will carry out a little more or a little further so that is why in this case here parallel fillet weld is also there that's why in transverse weld we do not consider 
any start and stop of weld run that's why it is deducted 12.5 some uh, data handbook or some box may deduct uh, with some uh, other value but it is common uh, you have to mention it clearly the next length of sorry uh, this equation done the next length of double parallel fillet weld subjected to variable loads the loads are given the loads are acting horizontally so we have to consider load here so initially sigma is given tau is given tensile and shear is given so maximum load is equal to area into stress that is sigma t so area is 120 into 15 width of the blade into thickness into 70 is sigma t so we will get 126 into 10 to the power 3 newtons so next okay if you are using design data handbook by uh, mahadevan and uh, balvir reddy so you have to check that table so uh, in order to obtain the stress concentration factor okay it's a fourth edition 6.3 table number okay design data handbook and in that uh, table 6.3 type of weld is given on a column next toe of transverse fillet weld this is for transverse fillet weld the stress concentration factor is 1.5 and end of longitudinal fillet weld that is dub, uh, double parallel fillet weld that is 2.7 it is given in the data handbook check so next permissible stress this is given in order to get permissible stress like factor of safety it is provided so sigma t is 70 divided by 1.5 you will get and similarly for tau so next equation equation is chapter uh, design data handbook uh, the equation number 6.2 sixth chapter in that and equation 2a so this is the given equation here so whenever you write the symbols here okay so you write uh, according to the data handbook so that you can apply or substitute the values easily so this is the one now here we need is load p1 will get after substitution and calculation will get 53 194.15 newton so next load carried by double parallel fillet weld we have calculated already now this one here we have done so next for p2 for double parallel fillet weld the equation is <clears throat> 0.707 p2 by hl2 this equation is given along with this one below this so same it looks same but here for 0.707 is underneath here it's on the numerator so or else you can write it in this form as well both are same if you write any of them you'll get the same answer okay next total load p is equal to oh, sorry here l2 is not given length of 2 l2 is not given so next what you have to do is you have to keep it like this and here we have p1 we have p and we have this one so substitute here here l2 is unknown this p is known p1 is known p2 value with l2 so l2 is unknown so calculate this l2 will get l2 as 165.46 now in this one we have deducted one sorry 12.5 here you are deducted in this problem in this uh, transverse fillet weld calculation that's why that that is welding run, weld run so here we have to add it here we have to add at the end start and stop of weld run that is l2 is equal to 165.46 plus 12.5 that is this one or else you can make it a full number of 180 as well 